All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Makali Kitchen. Today we're doing something really special. We're doing Japanese fried rice. And as you can see, to make it even cooler, we're in our Japanese room. Yeah, pretty cool. And we're joined by beautiful Kate. Hello. And Princess Subi. And you don't see him now, but Zilla is crawling underneath somewhere <laughs> here. Now, this is really cool because this is my favorite thing to do. Um, this is a Misano table. Uh, we're lucky enough to have one of these, but you can actually make this on a wok or on a different frying pan. So uh, let's uh, get started. But before we get started, what do you need when you cook Japanese? <laughs> sake. So, Lots of it. Yes. So Kate is going to be our sake master. So my love, can I have a sake please? Okay. And while she does that, we're going to oil the misana table. As you can see, I've got all my ingredients here. Check it out. Um, carrots, red and green bell peppers, onions, green beans, frozen peas. Uh, this is mushroom sauce from dried shiitake mushrooms. So you have to keep the shiitake mushrooms in hot water for a few minutes. Is it 15 minutes or something? Yeah, something you like that. soak them in hot water for 15 minutes so that you get all the uh, the juice from the it. The juice. And then, of course, we've got shiitake mushrooms. Garlic, very important. Egg. And there's some other things here, like this is my teriyaki sauce, because we're also making teriyaki chicken. And we're gonna make garlic and butter shrimps. So that comes with it. Oh, and chicken stock, plus Tabasco, black pepper, butter. My utensils, always good to have the proper oh, things. Very sharp knife. Oh, sesame oil, always goes well with right, fried rice. And before we start, cheers. Cheers, love. Cheers. Mm. It's always sake. Mm. My chaser. It's a big bail. Okay, so our pan is pretty hot. Lower it a little bit. So, when you do this, you want to start with the stuff that takes longer to cook. So, it's going to be the onions and the garlic. And then from there, we'll do the carrots and then the red and green bell peppers. And then we'll go on to the green beans, the mushrooms, and then finish it off with the rice and we'll flavor it. Okay. How many cups of rice do you need for Ooh. this recipe? To be honest, I don't know how many cups we made, but I have a feeling it's two cups of rice. Only two cups of rice. Only two cups of rice, yeah. So onions. Now I have to warn you, even though I know how to cook this, I'm quite messy. <laughs> So, that he is. My mixing is always quite mixed. Garlic. Get that all in there. Right tools for the job. Yeah. I look like a pro from one of those Japanese restaurants, but a lot messier. So you just want to fry your garlic and onions until fragrant. I hope you can see this because it is an absolute joy having this on the table and cooking for other people. This is my favorite thing to do because usually when you're in the kitchen, you're just cooking by yourself and your guests don't actually see it. But now it becomes like a joint activity, mm -hmm. although I'm doing all the cooking. But still, at least you can get to see it. Okay. Next is the carrots, because the carrots take longer to cook. Now what you can do is you can put stuff that you cooked first to the side where it's not so hot, just so we don't overcook it. Oh, the heat. Because hmm? the heat isn't evenly distributed, is exactly. that why? Exactly, and also I'm oh. going to choose to make this one a lot weaker. That's cool. Now, a little uh, trivia is not the right word, but information? Hit. No, a story. Oh. This Japanese room is called Gifu, which is after a prefecture in Japan. 
and um, it's actually where my dad had his sailboat built back in the day when I was a child. So I spent most of my childhood on a 42 foot sailboat sailing around the Philippines. So it's always fun. And it definitely was an exciting childhood. Never boring. Never boring with me. As I've always told my girlfriend, at least I'm never bored. <laughs> Okay. Now, usually I like to have music when I cook, but I can't do that when I'm hosting. So, things I gotta give up. Okay, and then that can go in with the garlic and onion. Mix it around again. Thank you. You can see it's a little messy, but we're getting there. He's doing his best. I'm trying my best because I'm on camera. <laughs> Red and green peppers. Should we get that all in there? Yes. Mmm, that smells good. So once again, you want to cook it just a little bit so it gets fragrant and a little bit soft, but you don't overdo it. Mm -hmm. You kind of always want to have your veggies a little bit crispy, right? That fresh feel. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's hot. Good. What other vegetables can we add to your rice? Oh, anything really. You can have broccoli, cauliflower. You can even substitute rice for cauliflower. That's the healthy way to do it. I love it and it tastes good, but it's better with rice. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna mix that back in with the veg. With everything else. Put that to the side where it's not so hot. Clean up a little bit. Okay. Green bean? Yes. Okay, we're adding green bean. Green bean cooks very quickly. So literally a few seconds. Because don't forget, we're gonna be still cooking the rice for a few more minutes, so it's also gonna cook in that time. Okay, we're gonna put the mushrooms. All of it. <laughs> All of the All mushrooms. It. And the peas together because it take about the same time to cook. Oh yeah. Inside. I hope you can see this in the video, but it's looking really good. Okay, I think it's time for a quick beer break. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the rice. Put it over here, hidden in this beautiful bowl. Yes, two cups of Japanese rice. Put that up. And actually, in this whole dish, this is actually the most difficult part for me because I get the rice everywhere. Not very tidy. So a little tip before you put in the rice is you're supposed to air it out, right? So it's not so wet. Well, actually, the secret is you're supposed to make the rice the day before. Oh, really? And then you cool it down and then you put it in the fridge. That makes the best fried rice. Not only in Japanese, but in every fried rice, you're always supposed to cook it the day before and keep it in the fridge so it gets hard. Because that way when it's hard, it absorbs the sauces more and doesn't get too mushy. Uh -huh. Learning things every day. So you want to go through that fried rice and mix it up, get rid of all the clunks. Like, clunks. Takes a while. Like that. Okay. Now I've been doing this for years and I'm still no pro, but it tastes good. That's what's important. Yep. I lack finesse, but the taste <laughs> is there. Not sure. Okay. Alright, let's start flavoring this bad boy. 
the best way to do it. Open up a little gap in the middle. We're gonna put, gotta put my Tabasco up there. Soy sauce. Ooh, sake. Mm. I have another one, thank you. Now this one, chicken stock. Chicken stock always amazes me. Because even when you're cooking chicken, you can add chicken stock. For yeah. beef, you add chicken stock. It's always blown my mind. Now this, very important, the mushroom juice. It's that nice shiitake mushroom flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here in the middle. I'm gonna add about one te teaspoon of chicken stock. Actually, it's a lot of rice. Teaspoon and a half. Okay. I'm gonna mix it all together. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, look at that. Now we're getting somewhere. Once again, get rid of all those clumps. Mix it properly. Now to season, we're gonna put salt, uh, we're gonna put soy sauce, pepper, and Tabasco. You don't have to put Tabasco if you don't like spicy, but you're missing out. <laughs> That's true. It's no joke. Actually, sweetie, I know what we did forget. What? Chilies. But that's okay. This is the less spicy version. Look at that! That is looking good. Now, like I always say, taste as you go. Because that's the way to flavor. Um, can you have a chopstick please though? Mm -hmm. Mine? Yes please. Thank you. Sorry for the sweat, it's hot. Gee, it needs to be tasting. I know it's missing. There's definitely some soy, and some Tabasco, with a lot of pepper. So let's do that. The sesame oil comes at the end. So do you use a regular soy sauce or light soy sauce? Mm, I use regular Kiko Man, but you know what? I like the light soy. It looks like a lot of Tabasco, but there's a lot of rice. Okay. Ooh! No, it's looking good. It's starting to change color. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do... Add a full egg. Open up the rice again. Let's taste it just to make sure I'm not the flavor. A bit more pepper. Okay. Can you smell more? An egg. Go. Mm -hmm. no. So I'll let that cook a little bit before I mix it in with the rice. I'm going to add some pepper on it. Mm -hmm. And some more Tabasco. I like it spicy. Hey. Mm. Sui. Now we have that. Subi's trying to escape. Subi. He's trying to eat the fish. Come here. And that is pretty much it. We mix it all together. Um, the last procedure I would recommend is having someone else taste it to make sure that we're doing it all right. So, Zilla, not Zilla, because she can't tell me how good it is. It's gonna have to be like, look at that egg. Look at that mess. Oh, I see the mess. The beautiful mess. Mess. It's gone. Where's the spoon, honey? Okay. Right. That's it. That easy. Just have the right ingredients. Wait! It's sesame oil. Okay. 
why I need you. <laughs> okay. This cooked pork is gonna be better now. So good. Without sesame. Okay. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, not gonna show you the chicken and the prawns, but they're gonna be epic. <laughs> That's for the next one. Enjoy and please let me know if you do try the dish and how it goes. And also, if you have any questions or you just need some help, hit me up. See you in the next video.